everybody. Hello, hello. It's an exciting day today. Today is the start of a new series, which probably will see me throughout the year, I would have thought. Not this year, because this year's nearly ended. Next year, I'm talking about. And it's a series of how-to videos. How to do anything at all that's got anything at all to do with junk journaling. And I have asked uh, around, I asked on my live, I've asked um, various people that, you know, chat with what they would like to see me do a how-to on. And please, if you, you know, underneath this video, if you need want to see a how-to on anything at all, just leave a comment. Uh, it will get added to the list and in due course, I'm sure it will come around. But the how-to today is how to use the Tim Holtz Sizzix Chapter 3 release. Throughout the year, Tim Holtz, in conjunction with Sizzix, releases uh, three chapters, I think. Four, probably, if you count Christmas. But throughout the year, maybe one in February, one in the summertime. And this one, I think, was in autumn, late summer. And it caused a bit of a stir because... They are what every everybody wants. If you follow Tim Holtz, these are to die for. <laughs> and they are three, um, three of these kits that come... Let me just take that out. They come with one big piece. This folds up to make an envelope. And all these other pieces. So in, in each of the three kits, there's one major element and then a series of other delightful things. They're just lovely. And they're really good fun to play with. So that, let's just pop that back in there. And just be careful when you open them because there's so many small pieces that go flying. That, pe that one there, let me tell you what that one's called. It's called Postal, which guess makes sense, doesn't it? It's an envelope. So, yeah, that's Postal. This one here is called Collector. And it's got this um, well, kind of coin envelope with a string and button closure. And lots of really nice things. Lovely. They all come with a series of letters, not uh, letters, numbers, not to nine. And they're all slightly different in each set. So it's got tickets and a rosette and a star and all sorts of things. And of course you can mix them up as you, as you wish. And this one is called Specimen. And it's got a sort of small file folder. It's got a, you know, one of those transparency film photograph things. It's also got a tab, which I have lost. I have no idea where mine is. It'll be around somewhere, but can't find it at the moment. Uh, it's got the numbers. It's got this, uh, all of these lovely cut out words, specimen, collect, field, file, sorry, can't read, archive, recorded and series, um, and some cards and a book plate. It's just fabulous. They, they really are lovely. And at the same time, he released this as well, which is called Alphanumeric Theory. And I really love this uh, alphabet. It's it's clear. It's it's just lovely. I love it. And the letters and numbers come in two different sizes. And you can make a word up largely of l large letters, but put the odd small letter in it. <coughs> Excuse me. And you get these uh, little, just these. And they go under the small you want to do it it's it's really fab however i have cut out well more accurately mr f has cut out the large elements here that's the coin envelope that is the one uh, which one is it that one in there so that's what that cuts out to uh, this is the file folder from this one so that's the size of that and this is the envelope for the postal. So that's the size of that. So they're all a nice workable size. 
Now I thought I'd do some, well, let me show you what cuts out of it first before I go on to what I've thought. These are all the dies that you get with the coin envelope. Which is that one. So all of these dies, this is it. This is what you get. There's loads. And I've cut one set, uh, set out in cream, one set out in craft. There's lots to be going at. I mean, I might, you know, want to introduce some red or something. Uh, I've cut all the numbers out as well. I've cut them in cream. I've cut them in craft. And I've also cut them in red. So that was what I was doing this morning. Whoa, don't fall off. Ah, marvellous. And these ones here, like I say, in red and in uh, craft. So let's let's just go through what you get. You get a big, almost journaling card, and it fits inside the envelope. You get that, which would, well, you can see what you get. This is a ticket, this is a ticket. Uh, kind of book plate thing really this little bit here says there you can see it uh, abbreviated number you know NO and you can use the letters that push out and then you can cut it out so you've got a sort of negative piece so I'm being very careful with that I don't want to push those out because I know I'll lose them if I do these are the two button uh, closures this here which is the same as this here fits really perfectly on top of that rosette so you know you've got that option if you want it uh, there's a couple of little tags and there's a star I mean it may be that we want more than one star maybe we want more than one tag you know whatever but that's what you get with the kit with the die set so let's pop those there while I show you what I thought I would do <laughs> It's a bit complicated, but you'll, you'll, yeah, you'll see what I'm up to. Oh my goodness, I've got letters and things everywhere. Right, that's the bit that I need. Okay. So, I thought I'd make a little booklet. <coughs> but I do understand it's really hard for you to, to kind of grasp what I'm going to do. Um, so, I'm, I've started to make a one out of Tim Holt's papers. And I want to make something fairly similar, but maybe a bit more naturey. I don't know. Um, but this is this is what we're going to do. So there's the coin envelope, and I've sewn it into a spine when it was still open. I'll show you, so don't worry. And then there's this envelope, which does show how I've sewn it in. I've sewn it in down this side, and then when you stick it together, like that. You can't see where you've sewn it in. You can decorate it, you can put things in there, and it just flips over like a page in a book. And I've put enough lines in here for six, so that would be two of each of our sets. Um, that's pretty, isn't it? So that's kind of what's on the agenda today. It's obviously gonna take more than uh, you know one video. I've put a little tag on here just to let people know that inside there is a little journaling card. And I've decorated that up. It's got a pointer on that clock. That just pops out. Goes back in. Uh, we've got this beautiful girl that I've I used um, saltwater taffy uh, embossing glaze on that and just stamped a little bit, put a ticket behind her. So that's that, that goes into there. And I'm not saying we're going to do the same on the one we're going to make now, but I will use the same idea of putting a, a tag on it so people know there is actually something in there. Then I've got these two tickets. They come out and there's a belly band on there. Just slide back in, I've just done a bit of stamping. I've left that so something could be tucked in there possibly. I've stamped on the top, reserved. Then on the back, this comes out. It's just one of the little cards that come with the kit. Um, go in there. Uh, Tim Holtz Rose. And uh, this is the alphanumeric that I showed you. 
uh, and I love those letters. It's lovely. I, I really like that page, actually. So how do we go about it? Well, so this is the file folder uh, one, and that's the, that's the longest of all of them. The envelope and the coin envelope are not that long. So if I measure that, that's, well, let's say four and three quarters. It's not quite, but we'll say it's four and three quarters. So for my spine, I want this to be at least four and three quarters. So it measures five, so that's great. And then I want to just mark where I want my spines. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put six in, two of each of the, the series. So uh, if that's, what did I say that was? Oh, I didn't. It's, it's long. It's longer than we need, but never mind. So I'm just going to measure where halfway is. And that can be, we can go from either side then. Let's do it that way. So I'm actually going to leave, on, on the one that I've just shown you, this one, I've actually left from there to there is three eighths of an inch. And I think that's a bit excessive. Even when we get everything decorated, I think that's going to be a bit much. So I'm going to, I'm going to leave quarter of an inch this time. And you'll, you'll get the hang of what I'm doing. So that's our centre there. There, so I'm just going to come one eighth this side and score down, and then a quarter of an inch, score down, and then another quarter of an inch and score down. So that's our three score lines to attach our things to on this side. I haven't done any on that side. <coughs> but then I need another quarter of an inch for the spine to leave room for the, the, the kind of first bit. So that's there and that's going to fold there. That's going to be the end of the spine part. So this bit can get cut off and get sandwiched between two pieces of paper, two pieces of card, whatever. And the light's really funny today, isn't it? Um, nothing I can do about that, I'm afraid. So I'm going to do my three, three lines on the other side. Just get that lined up properly. So, quarter of an inch from the last one. And I'm having to score mine quite hard actually because this card wants to crack. So that's one on that side, two on that side, three on that side, and then our quarter of an inch. complete the spine and that's going to fold in there so there we have it this is going to be our book of sorts um, like I say all the sewing will be there so I intend to cover that completely and I'm going to cut that down so we can put it into a, you know make a journal with it when we're finished that's a job for further down the line Right, so our first one is here um, and I'm going to use the one, the coin envelope one, this one. Now, I did cut out two of everything, so I already have this and I've already inked around it. Now, if you're curious what I've used, I've used gathered twigs. It's not a one I've used before at all, gathered twigs. But I wanted something that wasn't too dark, but wasn't too light either. So I think this is midway between vintage photo and ground espresso, perhaps, that sort of thing. So what we are going to do is sew this into our signature 
don't forget the first one your first line is for this so you're not sewing onto that you're sewing onto this line here the first one that you did that one there so get your mat out or whatever it is that you use your pokey tool and it doesn't matter which way you do this if you do it this way then that's the that's going to be the front facing you if you sew it on that side there then that's going to be the front facing you so i think i'll do it that way so that's facing me so i'm just going to line that up you don't have to do it centrally not by any stretch of the imagination um, so i'm not going to measure it i'm just looking at it, it looks about central to me yep I forgot to put my holes in let's put the holes in first so one in the center one about half an inch up from the bottom and one about half an inch down from the top so there we are we've got our three holes I don't know why the light is weird there are three holes and I want to put them onto here so I'm just going to hold that like that and I can see where the holes are. So I can go through on the line that I scored. Through there. And through there. <coughs> then we just need to sew it on. And it's a dinky little thing. It doesn't take much thread. It doesn't take much time. So I think ultimately this should give us a nice project. So I'm going from the inside of the envelope and then through my centre hole there. Like that. Don't, don't lose your tail. And then from the outside of the spine. Come on, hole, where are you? That's interesting. Oh, my hole's too tight, I think. And th back into the, the coin envelope. Making a bit of my meal out of this. It's very straightforward. There we go. And then out the top. Out of here. And then back in the center. Try not to get your threads twisted and I'll tell you they always want to you know split through them. For some reason they just want to split. Hopefully that will be okay. I think I haven't split it. Yeah I've got them both on one side so I'm just gonna and then just tighten them up. Just make sure they are tight, not so much. So just chase the tail through till it's tight. Take your needle off and then just a couple of knots either side. there we go let's just check that yes beautifully tight so cut the ends off there and then we can make our our envelope up that's right isn't it yep so you stick that down you stick that down you stick that down and it's up to you whether or not you want to stick the top down i don't think i do i quite like the idea of it sticking out the top if i want to stick it down at a later date i can but i, I want something in there and I, I like the idea that something's going to be peeping over the top of the of the little book so let's get that stuck down so just up the edge of there 
and up the edge of the inside of this one. There we are. Fold that over. And then fold the bottom up. I do want the bottom folded up. Otherwise, whatever I put in, it's going to come sailing out the bottom. <laughs> Which is not good. So there we are. There's our first page. Our first envelope page. Now, don't get carried away and start decorating this. This really won't be visible. We'll cut it right down, etc., etc., before... Um, it's a finished item so don't think that you've got to cover that because you haven't uh, but we do have to cover this with something pretty um, so I've got all my pieces all my shapes my numbers my tags etc and this is the size that goes inside it fits beautifully inside just the perfect size. Now I've stuck it in, I can't get it out. Um, yeah, there it is. It's a perfect size. But once it's in there, you can't really see that it's in there. So we need to attach a tag to it of some of some type. Um, but before we do that, we want to know what we're going to put on it, don't we? We're not just going to put it in blank. Right, okay, so I would like to put some ink on there put some ink on here and also on our big uh, journaling card that's going in there I may need ink in other places but at the moment that's it it would have been an idea to do this before <laughs> before I put the envelope in but you know we always have these brain waves afterwards so I'm going to put that there because I'm going to use sprays and I don't want to get it everywhere. And I'm going to put that there. So that should protect a great deal of things. And I want to do that as well. Right. So what I'm going to do is what, what you've seen me do lots of times before is I'm going to spray it onto here and then I'm going to transfer it. And then you get a, a much more controlled... Um, level of sprayness. So I'm going to use this. It's brand new. It's still in its wrapper. Uh, it's Lumberjack Plaid uh, Distress Spray Stain. So let's open that up. Because I think a bit of red on this project would look quite nice. Certainly the Postal one lends itself to red, but we'll see as we go along. I want to keep it quite naturey if I can. Okay, how do you get this off? I guess they have to wrap them tight because you don't want ink going everywhere, do you? <laughs> Mr. F standing by. I can't get that off. Uh, let's make a start with this then. This is just vintage photo distress spray stain. And I'm just going to put a little bit. Ooh, that's a big bit on there. Thanks, Mr. F. Um, and I just fold it over and over just to spread it out. If you've got too much, mop it up. And I think I have got too much there. <coughs> And if one squirt would have been enough. So let's take that, remove that off there. And then just keep spreading it around. And it works really well with these cellophane bags that things come in, you know. And we always just chuck them out, but it's kind of worth keeping them, really. Because they're good for this. Right, so let's just put some of that down there. That's quite a lot, but it looks nice, doesn't it? Oh, yes, that looks lovely. And onto this one. Oh, it's gorgeous. Fold that over and let's see what we've got left on our bag. A little bit. 
little bits all you need. Yeah, that's that's really nice. Oh, I really like that. Now I'm going to put some red on, but I, I really don't want much of it. Just a sort of accent, a highlight. So I haven't used this before. I don't know how fast it comes out of the thing. Or not. Ooh, that's probably enough, you know. Let's give that a try and see what happens. Ooh, it's very crimsony. Okay, let's try that. So just want a little bit here and there. Yeah, that's nice actually. And a little bit on here. So this way you're in control of it. You know, loads of us have got sprays, but we're afraid to use them because they go everywhere. They go where we don't want them to. They put down too much ink. Um, so they stay in the cupboard and that's not fair on them. So there we are. That's that's nice. I like that. Catkin's getting a flea, a flea in his bonnet at the moment because he's... <laughs> Trying to play with an extension lead. He's got the devil in him this morning. <laughs> really has. Right, I'm happy with that. Let's just wipe this off. And then we can use it the next time we need to. Still quite a lot of red on there, isn't it? have thought something so disposable could be so handy so I'll put that back in the drawer where I keep them and let's have a look and see what we've got oh yes that's nice I'm just using this because it's got all creased up so I'm using it as kind of waste paper really right so what I want to do now is I've inked around all of that but I just want to ink around here with my gathered twigs I'm being quite liberal with it. I, I, I want it to look like that. It's nice. Just a little bit on the back as well. So there we go. Lovely. So we've got our envelope coin envelope distressed or coloured or whatever ooh that's so nice uh, and our journaling card so what to do next right well I've had a little scratch of the old noggin <laughs> nothing much came to mind but I'll go with what I first intended to do I was going to ink around these two uh, craft shapes they, they all come in this the same it as the you know the um, coin envelope after we've done one completely with just the die cuts from one I could do without being a little bit darker to be honest with you let's see if I can find my ground espresso there we go Yeah, the craft needs a bit. It needs a bit more ink on it. It just doesn't gather twigs. Just doesn't stand out on it. So let's go round again. There we go. That's that's better. Same on this one. These are actually a pack of. Uh, greetings cards and envelopes that I got well I say I got one pack there was about five packs I think from a lady who was stopping making cards and she put them up on Facebook marketplace um, I don't think we bought them she might they might have been free I can't remember but 
Mr. F said, what on earth are you going to do with all of those? Well, quite honestly, I just cut them up. They come in really handy. It's just a craft card. Right, let's deal with this first. So I want to put a stamp on there. And as I say, I want it to be fairly nature, naturified. So I'm looking for a dark brown ink. No, not there. There's probably one here. Yeah, that's dark brown. That's pine cone. That's a very dark one. I've also got vintage sepia, which I, I really like. The, yeah, I'll use that, the vintage sepia. It's a, a lovely colour. It's versifying as well. So bit ahead of myself opening that up so i've got two die uh, rubber stamp sets one is the eccentric set uh, cms448 it's it's a fabulous set i love it and the field note set which is cms396 which surely must be one of their best ever sellers um i think anybody who loves tim holtz would just love this I did actually wear my first one out. <laughs> well, that's not true. I just didn't look after it. So let's stamp this onto here. Might have to stamp it on a couple of times. I'll get my stamp block, which Mr. F's kindly cleaned for me. So this is just kind of the background really. But I do want to get it kind of straight if I can. Oh well, it's not dead straight, but it's not it's alright. Acceptable. This one on underneath it. There we go, that's all right. I'll just wipe that from where the ink excess ink went. Wipe the stamp. I'm determined to look after these field note labels. Uh, stamps at this time. I really don't want to ruin another set. So that will go on there. And then I looked at some. These are the layer, the Tim Holtz uh, florals, but the layer ones are quite thick. And I thought that that might go there. Yes, I quite like that. Um, okay, so I think, I think that would look nice there. And we can leave it open on the side as a pocket. I'll probably get away with stamping something else down there. Let's have a go. At the end of the day, it's a piece of craft card. It'll be all right. Um, what have I got that could go down there? Something nice and thin. Identification check, would that fit? Who? no, not quite. Need something a bit thinner than that. See, already they don't want to go back. <laughs> Drive me mad. Uh, let's have a look on this. That identification card stub, that will definitely go there. Definitely, definitely. Um, and I'm going to do that in Versafine as well. Perfect, but it's absolutely near enough. Okay, so let's stick this down. And as I say, I just want to stick it on three sides. I want to leave that open as a pocket, 
but I want this to have plenty room so yeah about there about there glue glue's always useful at times like this come on where where are you hiding exactly oh there it is it's hiding behind the sprays so that's the side that I don't want any glue on I find craft card uses quite a lot of glue you've got to use slightly more glue with craft card than than other things sort of drinks it in there we are so I would quite like to get this straight. I think that's about straight there. And that side's open. Yeah, you see, it needs a good pushing down. <coughs> there we go. Right. So now I can stick this on and the question is do I want to ink ground it or not well I don't actually I, I find very often if you ink these <coughs> they start to look really quite dirty so I want it to still look fresh if I was doing a grungified one yeah I'd definitely ink it but I want this to be semi grungy <laughs> no just naturified, really. So then we need to make a tag to go in behind it. But I'll give it a minute to dry properly. So that goes on there. You could also, if you wanted to, just glue those bits and have that as a tag as well, but a pocket as well, but I don't think we need to. It is only one little envelope. It's limited at just how much it will stand. There we go. It's gonna go around those extremities and really push them down because it's quite thick this as I said and sometimes I find them difficult to stick right so there we are that's as you open the book that's the first page you're going to see and it looks nice really does now you can put a stamp up there if you want to nothing stopping us doing that in fact so what shall I put I've got lots of nice big shipment collect will that fit well you know the only way to find out is take it off and try it Ooh, it's, it does but it's quite tight let's go for it <laughs> let's just do it because it sort of fits with it being um an envelope you know with things in it so it's the first time this stamp's been used so let's hope it works well right I haven't got much room to play with here Well, you can see it, but it's kind of mixed. Oh, actually, you can see it. Yeah, it's better than I thought it was. And I might put a number above it as well. Um, what number to put above it? That's a nice one. I think I'm going to have to take these out of here. Or take the, or weed it, you know, take the spare out. Because it's doing my head in. I'm just going to have to turn this round again. Yeah, I'm going to put it to that side, I think. Yeah. 
there we go so yeah that's that's looking really nice I think we just need to get ourselves a little card or something to go in there see if I can keep those all together at least <laughs> run out of room here again as usual um so maybe a little cream card would be nice would that would fit but it's perhaps a little bit on the small side maybe we're going to have to cut one ourselves from the cream card so i have some cream card so what size do i want it i want it Hard to tell because I've stuck somebody stuck a rose over it. I want it to come right to that edge there and to about there, allowing for the glue because the glue always spreads out more than you think it's going to. So let's cut that and see where we are. About there. And about there. I think we might have to, well, make it smaller. We can't make it any bigger unless we cut a new one, can we? <laughs> so let's see, does that fit in there? It does, but it's very tight, so I'm going to take a little bit off it. I don't like when things are, are quite that tight. Uh, yeah, length. I need a bit of the length. Just going to take that off and keep trying it until I get it absolutely spot on. Let's just move that pencil mark because it might just get forgotten about. Yeah, that's going in. Let's just check it goes in all the way. Oh, it's quite tight. And I don't think it necessarily wants to go in any further than that. It's, no. So I need some of both dimensions. I can't get it out now. <laughs> I'm stuck in it. That's it. So I need just need a little bit of both sides. So yeah, basically it's just too big. <laughs> so let's take a bit off there. And a bit down here. Before you know it, we're going to be left with a postage stamp. But, you know, at least it will fit. <laughs> right, let's try this then. Oh, yeah, that's whistling in. Whistling. Whoops. Might still be... No, I think that's fine. That goes in there nicely. Now, the next trick is to get it out again. <laughs> there we go that's it right we have it it's done it's the right size i think maybe if i uh rounded the corners it would go in more readily so i'm just i'm going to use my quarter inch which is probably still going to be oh no it's all right i thought it might look a bit daft but it looks okay there we go so let's just ink around that with the gathered twigs. Now I don't want to build this up to be too thick because it won't go in there. And I do need to put a tab on it. It's a, such a shame I've lost the tab, my tab thing. Um, but I'll have to come up with plan B. Not quite sure what that is yet. The only other tab cutter I've got is um, 
is this one, which is ginormous. It's just, it's just, it's big, but it might work. Let's try it. It's the only one I've got, so I don't really have a lot of choice. So if I cut those ends off there, I think we might be okay. Let's fold it over. I'm going to have to score this because this is this cream card that wants to crack all the time. So that's the middle there. Let's score it down there. There we are. Right. So if I just cut off the ends in a make, do and mend type fashion, yeah, that'll be all right. That'll be fine. Let's cut the ends off then. Like that. Like that. That's all right. That's a tab. Near enough anyway. If you've still got a pristine set and you haven't lost any of it yet, use the tab that comes with it. It's a really nice tab. But that's that's going to go on there. It needs cutting down a little bit, I think. Um, just a bit long for the job. So let's just cut that down. Right, so we've butchered that tab, so it really doesn't look anything like the tab that did cut out originally but that's going to go there like that so i'm going to ink that first and then we'll stick that on there we go So let's get that stuck on. Yeah, it's giant size that tab punch that I've got, but it, you know, it's the only one I've got. So foolish me losing my die. There we go, I think that's all right. It'll do the job, it will do the job. <coughs> now, what can I put down there? I could put some letters, uh, numbers down there is what I could do. Let's get the numbers out. So I've got craft or I've got red. Let's have a look and see. Let's just pick this one up, it's nearest to us. Oh yeah, I think they'll look nice. Yes, I do. Uh, so what should we have? An eight and a two. And let's go for a four. Sat there looking at me. Yeah, I, th I think that's going to be nice. And I like the introduction of the red because it is on the, you know, on the background, so. Right, let's stick those on then. So the way I do it is I stick the top one, then I stick the bottom one, and then I can see the size of the gap that I've got left. And then stick the stick the other one in the middle. Whoops. <gasps> These are little suckers. Slippery little suckers. Did anybody watch? It's years ago now since it was on. Um, Pretty Woman, it was called, with Julia Roberts and Richard Gere, I think. Um, and he took her to some posh dining place. And uh, I think she was, I can't remember what it was, Pete, I think it was, something like that she was trying to eat. Oh, I want that on the bottom. And uh, they went flying flying off a knife and fork and she said slippery little suckers it's kind of stuck with me 
and now this one that's going to fit that yes perfectly well not long now till I get my new glasses then I won't be able to blame that will I that I can't see properly when I've got new glasses I just have to fess up and say it's me maybe up just a touch there yeah happy with that lovely so they're all down solid nice looking good now what we're going to put on this tab then on this little card that's a, a very good question isn't it um probably a stamp of some sort i would have thought let's just try that in and see what it looks like shall we i'm excited to try it okay why don't you want to go in you did all along you were just being silly doesn't that want to go in oh i think i've caught the tab yeah on the on the card that's it oh doesn't that look nice that looks nice hooray we're getting somewhere here you know Right, so now I've got to think about what I would like to put on, on here. Probably some stamps, but I'm going to go and think about it for a minute. Right, I've had a look through all my stamps and things, and I like these stamps, the, the Tim Holtz ones. Don't ask me what they are. I've obviously taken them off the thing and um, put them in a poly bag. Um, but I, I quite like the idea of that with a stem. And maybe colouring it in. Yeah, possibly. That one. And I like that one best. That's my favourite. That's the one I'm going to use. And just a, a stem. I think that's all we need. Now, I don't know if I want to stamp under it, first of all. You know, because I've got these sort of gaps here. Or, or not. I'm patting my head because I'm looking for inspiration. Um, let's stamp it first and then we'll see we'll see what we're left with so I'm going to stamp it in oh what am I going to stamp it in in grey I think morning mist this one the Versa, Versa Claire Versa Van Claire morning mist and it's a grey so if I do decide to colour it in it doesn't want to stay on there the um, the grey isn't so in your face as the black would be or the dark brown even for that matter right so let's ink that up with the grey I'm going to put it there Lovely, that's just great. And then this one. I'll do that in grey as well. I'll bring that out about there. Yeah, that looks nice. I like that. Um, let's pop those away before I lose the parts of it. Uh, yeah, it would be nice coloured in. And I think I will colour it in. It takes a long time, doesn't it? Just to do one, one thing. But that's kind of what happens. Um, do I want to stamp it? at all I, I quite fancy stamping something there but maybe just a legible text maybe that's all I need I think it might be now because I'm going to colour this in and it's going to involve water in some way shape or form I want to make sure that I stamp it in uh, you know not in an oxide or a, a ordinary distress ink 
because that's water reactive and do I want to do that in red? Let's do it in red. I feel the devil upon me. Let's do it in red. So this, I always somehow manage to get upside down. So I'm just going to stamp it off on a bit of card. Oh, that's the right way up. Excellent. So I just want a bit in there. Yeah, that's that's lovely. And the tiniest, merest hint up there. Yeah, that's made a huge difference. I'm now thinking that I want to put a stamp down, down there. So let's see if I've got a stamp that will fit. Um, what have I got? What have I got? I've got reserved. That's okay. I've got transportation company, but I think it's too long. Yeah, way too long. Um, department 177. Oh, it sounds like what? Yeah, I like that one. It sounds like something weird goes on, doesn't it, in Department 177? Well, it very well might. I've no idea what it is. And I'm going to do it in red. I'm going to be brave and fearless. Maybe stupid. Who knows? Sorry about my head. For all sorts of reasons. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. That's lovely. That is a very nice little card, considering it's just a tiny little card. <laughs> Seem to be spending a long time on it. Anyway, let's get the uh, crayons out. I'm going to do it in crayon. And the only reason for that is my pens are tucked so far away, it would take me 10 years to get them out. Well, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but nine, I should say. So I'm just going to use my... These aren't even watercolour pencils, they're just colouring pencils. So what colour do I want it in? Red probably would be good. See if we can find a red. Yeah, lots of reds. That's quite a nice red. And that's quite a nice red. And that's a nice red though. Mm, don't know. Right, let's just go for it. So I'm just literally going to colour these in. So I don't think you need to watch me do this. I'm just going to leave the odd one and I'll come back and do it in, a sl in the slightly darker one there that I've just chosen. If Roz is watching, I bet she's cringing. Roz is an expert colourer. She showed us some of her work on the group. Oh my goodness me. It was amazing. Nearly there. These ones just need a bit of colour. Then I'll come in with a darker one and just do some little bits that might be in the shade. Let's give it a bit more life, really. Oh, peepers going, that might be my lunch. Should be, I think, now. I underestimated the amount of time the meat was going to take, so we thought this was going to be ready about an hour ago. <laughs> But it wasn't. There we are. I think that's that's looking all right. Right, some of those up a bit. Yeah, there we go. That's nice. Now the top part of it probably wants to be something like a yellowy orangey colour. I would say 
so mm, that that colour is quite looks quite like the middle of a flower. It's quite yellow. There we are. Let's get a a darker one. Maybe that one. Ah, oh, that one. Just darken it up a little bit. There we go. Now it's just the stem and then that is finished. There we go. And a darker, darker green. It's the only dark green I can see, so it'll have to do. Let's go down one edge. Like that, lovely. That's fine. Happy enough with that. Yeah, so let's put the crayons away. That was the right fuss, wasn't it, for a tiny little thing? But anyway, now it's finished, I think. It's got nothing on the back. <coughs> I'm going to just put the text that I used on the back, the legible text, that way. Just a little bit here and there, like that, that's fine. So that is us finished that little card for the front. So I'm going for my lunch and I'll be back in a minute. Bye. Hi there, I'm back. I've been fed and watered and everything else and I cannot remember where we were up to with this or anything, but um, that looks nice. That's all I can say about that. And have we got anything inside it? No. Uh, and we need something on the back. I, I don't know if I'd mentioned this to you before. <laughs> I really can't remember that far, that far back. Um, but I, was, I want to put the rose there and I want to have that as a little tag in behind it and I think that looks really pretty actually I like the pink that lumberjack plaid is to my mind no way red it's it's pink like this blinking rose is pink so I'm not going to go off down that rabbit hole again <laughs> but it's not red anyway <laughs> Yeah, we had braising steak for uh, dinner today with swede and Brussels sprouts. And um, the braising steak <laughs> took hours to cook. I mean, like hours, I'm talking hours and hours. Um, so dinner was a bit later than one might have expected it to be, but it doesn't matter, it was gorgeous when it came. Um, and there's plenty left for tomorrow, so that saves any major cooking tomorrow. That's lovely, that's great. I just need to put something on here. Oh, it's so pretty this, isn't it? it really is pretty. Um, it's funny how the, the other one, which escapes my attention at the moment, turned out so timmy. And yet this has turned out so pretty. That's excellent. So what am I going to stamp on there? Um, in the field notes set of stamps. Oh, come on, you can't be doing this to me already. Ah, here they are. They're hiding beneath the pile. Oh, doesn't really matter what it is. Piles of stuff. So there is a bird and there is a butterfly. Um, oh, and there's a flower one as well. That's nice. Get in. Stop faffing around. Oh, just knocked one off. I like the bird. I'm going to do the bird, I think. Talk about messy crafting. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I'm going to put the bird on there. That's That's going to be what happens there. Let's get the 
Mr F is attempting to fix my electric um, die cutter thing. I forget what it's called now. Anyway, it, I've had it just over a year. The warranty was a year, of course. So it's, um, yeah, it's broken down. It just, it's one of these ones that you introduce the the sandwich to and it sort of take, starts off by itself, except it's not starting off, it's not doing anything. So uh, I'm jiggered. I have got a big shot. I don't want you to think that I'm actually devoid of die cutter machines. I've got the tiny Timmy and I've got a big shot. Yeah, that's fine. That's all that was needed there. That's nice. Let's just wipe that off and put it back in the pile of field notes that I've used today. Right. Where's my dauber? Here it is. I'm just, I'm just going to use some of that VersaFine clay around here. The, um, the craft really, it just sinks into it. I don't need anything on the back here. It's just a little tag little journaling card, should I say, that's going to fit into that rose. Come here. Right, so there we go. It's going to go in there. And that looks nice. I like it. It's not dissimilar to that one, but a bit easier, I think, to put together. So now we've just got the card for the, for the middle. And I've done a bit of preparation. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, this is the card in the cream. This was the card in the craft. And I've taken one of those dies that I've had forever and ever and have never used. This die here. Um, it's called Mixed Media Number One. And I got it largely because it said Mixed Media. <laughs> I must be honest. But I've had it a good long time now. And uh, I thought, I remembered that one and I thought that would look quite nice. But it wouldn't fit through my tiny Timmy, so too bad it didn't get used. But I have used um, this one. And that's what it came out like, which I quite like. So I'm going to stick that over there. They are both the same size because they're out of the same kit. And I quite like that. So let's do that. Do I need anything on there before I do it? Because um, I'm also going to put this flower on which I'm going to paint. That's going to go over the top. Maybe something down there. I've got the stamping book today. Maybe that, that this number one here. It's going to take a bit of tidying up, guys, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, certainly is. Right, let's um, stamp that on there. Versa Fine Claire, where are you? There it is. I think this video might possibly need a fair bit of editing. <laughs> it's, it's been an all day job. Oh my goodness. What can you do? I hope that's something like straight. I couldn't really see. Yeah, it's all right. Off straight enough to look okay. Let's take that off. Put that there. Right, let's stick this onto here. Oh, I tell you what, I'm just going to ingrain it first. I want to ink quite heavily. There we go. Now we can stick this on. I don't quite know how to stick this holy bit, but I'll do my best. Just sort of following a bit of a line here. Well, has everyone heard about Keung's Christmas party? 
it's going to be on the 22nd of December, so not that long far away now. And she's going to host it a bit like a watch party, I think, or a premiere, I think they might be called nowadays, where you make the video first and then she can put it out when she wants to, but she can join in the chat because it's a sort of pre-made video. So she, she, I think she's got all sorts of things planned. Uh, cookie, you know, icing Christmas cookies and all sorts of all sorts of things. It sounds really, really good fun. Um, and although I'm not wishing my life away, I really am looking forward to watching it. With a bit of luck, I might. <laughs> On time, of course, which is never my friend. Um, I might get the chance to uh, make a video and send it to her so she can put that in her Christmas party day as well. And furthermore, da 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 da, I think Mr. F is going to do one. It's funny that one's slightly bigger than the other, except they both got out of the same die. So I'm just going to have to clip round that, I think. Yeah, I think Mr. F's going to make one, which is super. And I know what he's going to do already, and I can tell you, you'll love it. You will, you really will. I, c I couldn't tell you what I'm going to do, <laughs> as per norm, but I know what he's going to do, and I do know that you really will love it. It's nothing all nerdy or anything like that. It's just something lovely. Right, there we go. Now, I need to paint this flower. I've cut it out in um, mixed media paper. So it's it'll take some paint. And what colour is that? Wine red. That looks quite a nice colour, doesn't it? For a, where, What did I do with the rest of me? Let's get the dregs out of the bin. That's it. So I can see what colour this is. Oh, it's a nice red. Let's do that then. Let's paint these. Nice sort of red. Ooh, sounds like Mr. F's got the machine working. Hope I've got some water in here. Looks a bit brown. Just pull that colour out a little bit. So it's just not all one solid colour really. There we go. It is quite bright this colour but it'll be fine. It'll be perfectly fine. Well, it's just getting lighter towards the tips. It's a bit darker into the centre. You don't have to do this, just colour it all one colour, it'll be fine. That's that. This is me just making work for myself. Busy work, as they say. So I don't know what to do about the centre. I probably want it a more sort of brownie colour, really. A brownie, orangey. I don't know. I was all right with my colours till Mr. F came up with some new ones from, um, that's probably the colour I want, from eBay or, you know, one of his specialised shops, shall we say. Um, and I put them all in one box and, yeah, there's too many in it. I can't see what I've got now. Right, so that's that brown. Whoops. Oh, I've already put the lid on. I'm just going to go in with the, I think there's a fine end on these. These are Zig Art and Graphic Twins. A brush end at one end, a fine end at the other. And they're, they're really lovely. They're lovely pens. 
just make a little bit of a center there and some greens for the leaves so I've got that one that's probably all right let's have a little tester it's quite bright mm, it's maybe perhaps a little too bright what's this one Mm, don't know. Maybe maybe closer, I don't know. Is this one that looks like phthalo green? No, it's a very bluey green. Come on. Find a green. There's a green, that'll do. It's about the same colour as the one we started with, isn't it? But you know. Is it working, Miss Trev? Not really. Not really. Well, I have ordered myself a little Gemini MIDI, they're called. It's kind of like the next size up from the Tiny Tim, but not... If you're doing green, make sure you've got all the red off your brush because those two colours together make brown. And that's not what I want. Um, yeah, because it, it'll still sit handily on my desk, which is perfect. That's what I want. Because um, I've got the big shot, but the ju uh, there's no room whatsoever for the big shot here on my desk. There's not even room for an ink pad. <laughs> so... Uh, Right, that's me finished with them. Pop that down there. So let's have a look then. I've finished with that scrap. So that's, oh yeah, that looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah, I believe it does. So I want it snipped off about there. And then I'll just glue the back and we'll stick it on. I think some of this I'm missing completely. This is a tricksy little one, isn't it, to glue? It's also a very tricky one to cut. The big shot, tiny tim, whatever. I, I always have problems getting this one to cut. I don't know why, I don't know if the die's a bit wonky or or what, but it doesn't work on any of my machines. Not Not sort of straight through, you know. You've got to spend ages teasing out all the little bits and um, it's a pain. That's why I hardly ever use it. But I thought it would look nice on this project. So that's why I suffered on with it. Right, so I want that there. And I want this to come down to there. Goodness me, that looks nice. Let's put the lid on there. I'll bring it up and show you in a minute because you're, you're a ways away today. There we go. Our little journaling card. Looks cute. So that's going to... Oh, yes, that's it. I'm going to put that in there, but I actually need to attach a tag to it. Otherwise, nobody will know that it is in there. So I have my choice of tags... I've got um, the craft ones. I think actually there is another tag. I have no idea where it is. Uh, and I've got the cream ones. So, um, I might do it in craft for the simple fact that it's going to come out over here. So, yeah. put anything on the back of that probably doesn't need it I mean that's really pretty so what I need is some thread or something I've got this out this is crochet yarn I believe or embroidery I don't even think it tells me what it is it's nice anyway and it doesn't doesn't split 
I've got it all tangled up inside, haven't I? That's probably enough though there. Right, so I need to make a hole in that corner. Just a small hole will do. Perfect. Uh, I'll use the larger die in craft, didn't I say? Yeah, I'll use that one. So I want to, well, I want to do something with this first. <gasps> this is testing your eyesight today. Um, I just need to stamp something on it. Nothing too big, nothing too little. I think I might go for this row of numbers and just stamp the top one on. Yeah, I think so. So I need my verse fine and I need my block. I'm just going to use a bit of paper just to block off the ones that I don't want to get ink on. Ink that up. I think that's all right. And pop that onto there. Which one is it? Top one. Yeah, that says number 74. <laughs> it's dinky, I know. It's okay, though. On the other side, I could put a number, couldn't I? I haven't even inked it yet. I mean, how a mess. Let's just ink around that. Well, I'm going to win the slowest crafter of the day award today. Unlike Chestita, who's probably finished this whole project by now, while I'm still on page one. <laughs> she is a turbo turtle. And we all love her. She's such a wonderful woman. And of course, Mr. Elf. Who does such a good job of looking after her. There we are, and I'm just going to tie that together there. Oh, they're not even. They're even, even now. All right. Mm -hmm. Can I get something for you? Right, that's fine. That's I think that's long enough just to come out the top. So I'm just going to cut these long tails off my wool or whatever it is. There we go. Right, so pull that down there and that out there. Lovely. Oh, I was going to put a number on it, wasn't I? Yeah, I was going to do a number on it. <laughs> um Okay, whichever way I go, that wants to lie the other way. That's just madness. Right, that's it. So, um, should I have a red number? Let's have a red number. Oh, mm, cream might stand out nicely. Yeah, cream. Cream it is. Um, what shall I call this one? I mean, does it matter? It doesn't matter. So what are you even considering it for? I think number two. I'm nearly there now. I can see the end. Just about. Let's pop that on there. Lovely, that's nice. Lid on glue. Let's pop those away. I need to devise some storage system for these because having cut them all out, I don't just want to chuck them in the bin or just have them hanging around, you know, getting lost. Right, so that's going to go in there like that. And on the back of that, we've got that lovely splishy, splooshy type pattern. So that fits in there all the way in. And the only thing you can see 
is the number two tag sticking out. How nice is that? I like it. Um, is there anything else to do? We've done back and front and the journal. Go hey ho guys, we've done it. We're finished. Quick as that, eh? Can you believe it? So that's the back. This little tag comes out with a birdie on it. Just fits down into there. Then this is our front. That's pretty, isn't it? With a little tag that comes out here. Oh, I did find, a, when I was looking through for those mixed media dies, I did find uh, Elizabeth Crafts, I think it is, little thing with little tags on. So we're all right for that. I'm okay now. Um, that's stuck on all the way apart from there where we've got that very pretty little journaling card quite secretive little journaling card the more you take that in and out the better it gets to be honest just loosens it up a little bit um, so there we are so the next thing that we're going to do is add another one to the next row along so for that exciting episode I'll see you tomorrow. It's half past four here in the afternoon. And I'm sure I started this at 10 o'clock. That's ridiculous. So I'll see you soon. Bye.